What's going on guys, Devar here and today what we're going to do is show you guys how to do a raised bed with an irrigation system, a drip irrigation system that is. All of the parts can be found at your local hardware store, I got these at my local Home Depot and what we're going to do is get the soil ready and we're going to get everything down. Now if you want to know the list of parts all you have to do is go ahead and check the link below and you'll see where I got mine. They're very simple, it's easy to put together and you'll be growing some great stuff. Now what I'm doing is I'm using a machine to go ahead and turn the soil and then after that I lay the bricks out. I like this because I don't have to drill anything. It doesn't require you know a hand drill or nails or anything like that and what I did was I outlined the I outlined the boards with plastic because this is pressure treated wood. Now they say that pressure treated wood is safe for garden beds but I just don't want to take the chance so I'd rather just go ahead and do it this way. It gives me peace of mind and that's the way I do it. If you know if you guys want to do it feel free to do it how you do it but I'm just showing you the way we do it here. So once I lay all the boards out and I get them all together, I go ahead and wedge them in the little grooves and measurements and everything will be down below as well. Once I get everything in the little grooves, I start to dig out and I make sure that it's even all the way around. And once I have it even, then I'll go ahead to the next step, which is putting up liner that we have. Now you can buy these at, um, I think they have them at the dollar store or even your big box stores like Walmart and stuff but we just had this laying around and it would make a perfect bed liner so we said okay let's go ahead and do this the reason why you would put the bed liner is because you would want to suppress the weeds that come up so they don't come up in your garden so after you just lay the bed liner down go ahead and fill up the bed what we did is we used the organic material that was around us this is a mixture of native soil as well as different shrubs and dead leaves from trees around we go ahead and mix it all together and I take the machine that I have, which is a part of what's called a steel combi system. I don't get paid and I don't get any kind of perks from the system, but I do believe in it and I use it a lot. And that's why I'm promoting it because it works well. So we go ahead and turn the soil and get everything ready. And once we have a good turn on the soil and got a good mix, then we're going to take some shrubs that we have a finer version that we had sitting out in the sun for a while. And you're going to notice the difference there. What we do is we fill the bed about three-fourths of the way with the organic material that I mentioned before. And then after that, what we do is we add the finer material. Contact your local arborist or anyone who does tree jobs and usually they'll be happy to drop this off because they have to pay to dump these loads. look where the children are that is the pile that we have and that organic material I'm putting in there it's been sitting for a while now and you notice a lot of worms and stuff get in there and it's really good for the garden so after that what we're gonna do is put the finer organic material there now this is a professional potting mix it's a mixture of perlite peat moss and other organic material so if you see what we did we put all the heavier stuff at the bottom and then as we build the soil we put all the lighter stuff there because you're going to sow your seeds directly into the soil here so what it does is it gives the seeds a chance to get stronger and as the tree grows and the roots need to get stronger it'll penetrate lower and lower but this is some great material right here i got this at our local um, plant shop and they i believe they source it or they make it themselves but it's very good material i've been using it for years now what I used to do is fill the whole bed with this. That's not necessary. What you want to do is use what you have around you and then you build the soil just like how we did here. All you need is for the first few inches to have this organic material here and that's enough to start your seeds. Everything else, try to recycle what you have because what's going to happen is you're going to get rid of all that stuff and it's going to get processed anyway and it's going to get sold back to you. So if you have it, might as well go ahead and use it. So we're going to fill up the second bed here now that the first bed is clear and just take a good look at this material here. If you look closely you can see the worms and everything in here and that's going to be really really good material for your garden. The plants are going to love it. 
So now that we have everything set up, it was a very easy and clean setup. What we're gonna do is go in here and put the plants in. I grew these plants from seed. Now these plants are a variety of bell peppers. We have red, yellow, and orange bell peppers and I'm just gonna put them all in a row. And what I'm gonna do is plant all the other plants behind it. Now the way that I do my plants in the garden the peppers and tomatoes and let's say I wanted to go carrots or something like that I keep them all in the same bed and the leafy greens I separate now your herbs can go anywhere but we'll talk more about that later what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and put some plant nutrients here for the banana trees they need a little bit of TLC so what I do is I expose the roots go ahead and put the plant nutrients and then I put back the native soil there but I also take some of this organic potting mix that I have here and go ahead and place it around there so they get that nutrients and trust me you're gonna notice they're gonna plants are gonna love it and they're gonna thrive and get a lot bigger and that you're gonna have a great yield so you always want to consider that take care of these plants and they're gonna go ahead and take care of you now these are the materials that I got at Home Depot. As I say, any hardware store you can get a drip irrigation system. Just go ahead and ask where they keep the irrigation systems and they'll take you there. Now if you look up at the setup here, I got the ones that fan out. These are where the banana trees are and they're going to be fed. Everything is on a timer. Very simple. All I did was run four lines right here and now every time the timer is set depending on the time of year I can have the water here and it cuts off automatically it takes the guesswork out and it's watering the soil directly now if it rains of course everything gets wet and that's fine but I want it to be like this so now what we're doing is I'm planting a mulberry tree I received the mulberry plant years ago and it was from a branch of, of the mother mulberry tree and since then that mulberry tree has grown about 20 feet tall now from that mulberry tree we've made like 20 different trees and for friends and family we've been planting these trees so here it is right now and it gives a great berry if you're not familiar with mulberry just think of a larger version of a blackberry and the tree bears so much of these fruits you're gonna have them we used to just send the children out to go pick the mulberry and it was also growing in the neighbor's yard as well and I remember when I was pruning the tree the neighbor came out and she was like hey just leave this side don't touch those we'll take care of the, the mulberry tree that's on our side and I was like okay but the same thing I add the organic material around it because this is directly in the full sun so this is going to need some water and it's also going to need some care we want it to get strong so that it produces a good amount of fruit for us and we also make sure we give the plant nutrients on time but guys I just wanted to show you what we've been up to so far we're going to come with more videos but if you like this video do me a favor give it a big thumbs up hit that notification bell don't forget to like share and subscribe if you found value in this video peace and love and we'll catch you next time